Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today I am out here just to let you all know the new year is here, guys. And also spring is in the air. Of course, the weather is so, so crazy. If you all can see behind us right here, guys, what is going on? The weather is fooling all of our fruit trees. Every, just about all the trees around us is blooming. Um, you know, the pollen is coming out from all the pine trees and all that different kind of stuff, guys. Um, but so far, you know what? We are pushing through none of the less. Uh, we are happy for spring to get here because with spring comes new life. And as y'all can see here, uh, the tree is like pearly white from all that blossom. Now, this right here is a pear tree that when we move here on the property, guys, was already here, was already here. And so we have harvest quite a bit of fruit off this tree. Um, some years do better than some. But guys, it is loaded. OK, it is loaded with blossoms now one of the things that we are doing here on the homestead with this beautiful beautiful weather now all the work that has to be done here on the homestead guys um, just different things um, whether it may be cleaning up the garden getting it ready um, for you know not so much planting because our last frost date have not even gotten here yet but you wouldn't even think that a lost frost date is coming uh, it been a couple of weeks now since we've been getting beautiful weather now one of one of the things that I wouldn't really say say uh, I'm worried but in a way I am worried because all these blossoms right here okay if we drop down into 32 degrees which is freezing I would hate to see all this blossom, all this food right here goes to waste, guys, which, you know what? Hey, either way, I am thankful <laughs> for these blossoms, and I'm going to try to make sure that I can um, do something, whether to preserve them uh, from keeping them from freezing over if we do drop down into, th into the 32s. Now, over the nights, the weather have been right at about 55 in that range right there, which is not something that I'm worrying about because it's not freezing, okay? Um, so real quick, we'll just go ahead and just do a little walk and talk um, just to kind of show you all what is going on here on the homestead as far as with the trees waking up and um, how they are doing, okay? So of course, like I said, this right here is our pear tree, guys. Um, it is looking so, so beautiful. Um, you know, I'm just happy to see everything come to life. Just put it that way. Um, after the winter, you know, everything was pretty much dead, dormant. And so now they are waking up, you know. Um, so right on over here, this is where we plant a lot of our berries. Now, this right here is a two-year-old blueberry bush. Um, and I'm telling you guys, I just want to bring you all in to pretty much look at this price right here okay now this two-year-old blueberry bush is <laughs> as y'all can see thirty dollars plus tax okay but i want you all to know guys because we're <laughs> because we're not rich people we're <laughs> You're laughing like it's funny. We're not rich people, guys. No. And so, you know, whenever we do go on out there on the road, guess what? We are always looking for a bargain. Now, I know a lot of people at these stores probably tired of me and my wife <laughs> because we are always asking, what can you do on the price on these trees? Now, I bought these trees in the in the winter time when uh they were pretty much kind of closing them out okay and so we went on in and, and i'm just giving you all the knowledge and what to look for because if i was to pay 30 dollars for all these trees that i picked up it wouldn't have happened no shape or fashion it would have happened so i'm just going to tell you all how y'all can go about and get some trees now 
when you do go in and buy these trees and say for instance if you buy them for thirty dollars okay now there is a thing that you can do to multiply these trees which is you can come on in and ear layer the trees okay so you could buy this tree one time and you can come on in and graph off the tree or not graph but so much uh air layer which is cloning the same tree to get more on your property okay so in the winter time what you want to do is go ahead find the head of the store okay um a lot of times a lot of times they want to close the stuff out anyway because they want to bring in new stuff so find the head of the store hey what can you do on these price right here on these tree and see where it goes from there guys okay so that is how you go about doing that all right what if they get a no a no today is not a no tomorrow. yes then that is true a no just like you said <laughs> thanks for saying that a no today is not a no tomorrow so you would go back okay what happens sometimes shift changes you may get <laughs> I'm sorry guys, you may get somebody that is, is, hey, that is willing to mark them down because really they're trying to bring in new inventory. Go the next day, find somebody, don't go at the same time that you went before, a different schedule, morning schedule, evening schedule. So go in, the, if you went in the morning today and you get a no in the morning, go in the evening when shift rotates and ask again if the answer is no then you just have to move on to a different store and see until what they next week. until next week or just move on to another store and just see what happened there so i'm just trying to help you all to get a bargain to be able to plant some trees on your property guys because you see what's going on like i always say get out there and grow some food fruit trees whatever like i always say the shrubs and all that Hey, dig them shrubs up and plant some trees, guys. You cannot eat shrubs. You cannot eat the leaves off the shrubs. So just plant some blueberry within that place. All right? So you come on over. Different varieties of actually blueberries in here. I think we have some pink, um, pink lemonade blueberries. And right over here is where we have uh, uh, blackberry and also some raspberry planted in this area. And so this is going to be Blueberry Alley okay yes so this is blueberry halley right here guys all right and so um further on down where the orchard is guys like i said the trees are waking up okay they are waking up and the place is just looking so much more beautiful or even so much more better with everything coming to life guys um but stay tuned stick around i'm going to come on in and just give you all another updated tour on what is going on here on the homestead on the orchard and um like i said spring is coming now one of the things that i want to go ahead and stress with you guys is start doing your garden cleaning okay you may wonder hey man how do you do all this how do you do all this when i get up guys this this is my nine to five okay and which is pretty much husbandry taking care of the homestead taking care of the animals and all that different kind of stuff this is my nine to five okay and so when i get up in the morning i'm at work okay um while a lot of people may be at their job i'm here at my work doing my work okay um so i'm in the process right now is just um cleaning the garden straightening out and right there just stay tuned because after this video we're going to have a upcoming video just kind of showing you all what i'm doing right now at this time to get my garden ready um right now i'm not stay tuned guys <laughs> that's it right there i just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there guys remember be motivated make your mind up get outside and plant something do something like man and i'm, and I'm going to tell you i know i'm closing the video out but guys i went to um uh so, track the supply the other day and guys they cannot keep chickens they cannot keep chicks now i was going to go ahead and get about another hundred birds here on the homestead i was going to just go ahead and buy them but guys they cannot keep chicks and so i want you to be in that number 
to go ahead and get some chicks to put on your homestead if you have the place or the space for them. Get you some chickens, guys. All right, so that is pretty much it right there. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Have a blessed day, guys. Happy New Year. Spring is in the atmosphere. Have a blessed day.